Okay guys, I wanted to do a quick review on the Timbuktu messenger bag. I didn't do a an unboxing per se, it just came in the mail and uh, it was a very large box and I thought it might be a little bit too large for me uh, for my travel needs, but um, once I opened the box it turned out to be the perfect size. I've received a lot of surveys in the mail before or email about services and I uh, very seldom reply to those uh, unless I'm very satisfied with the service or very dissatisfied. In this particular case, the only reason why I'm doing this video, two reasons really, one of them is because I'm very satisfied with it. Um, and the second reason is because I have, even though never done uh, a video before on a product, uh, I have uh, watched an awful lot of videos on the different bags that are available, that are out there. And uh, I wanted to uh, see if I could assist somebody else, perhaps, in the uh, if you're deciding uh, which bag, bag to get. But this holds an awful lot, so I'm going to go through the different uh, elements of it that I like. Uh, it does have a couple straps here with reflectors uh, for if you're biking, I guess. I won't be using that. I mainly travel. But uh, it unclips here. You can tighten this down. If it's if you don't have that much in the bag, uh, I do have the front pocket here. By the way, they are YKK zippers, so they're the stronger zippers. Uh, somewhat small as far as the latch on there, but I uh, purchased a couple of uh, Red Ox. I forgot what they call them, but if you go to RedOx.com, uh, you should be able to find some uh, um, bigger zipper holders. So I'm waiting for those to come in. But I'll keep my cell phone here. For when I'm traveling on the plane, it'll be easy access to be able to get it and stuff it back in there. Also put it in my coat pocket, depending on what's in there. If I want to show you what's in here. It's a, somewhat of a small pocket, but it is padded, so it would be good for a cell phone. Uh, on the inside, I just want to show you uh, some, and I've watched a lot of videos, as I mentioned, and a lot of the videos, they show you all the junk that they have in the bag, and I don't necessarily care about the different stuff that people have in their bags. But uh, what I did was I took a list, a piece of paper, and I penned out everything that I want to carry with me. And uh, I wanted to make sure it would fit in the bag. And so I went through and, and listed everything out, and indeed everything does fit. I have uh, an employee badge that I can strap onto uh, the little latch down here. Or a, you could put a reflector, I suppose, if you're a bicyclist. It does have the Velcro uh, patch here. So you could stuff this inside the bag, and the Velcro here will latch onto it, and then you can also latch these as well, and it'll give you a little bit of a stronger fit. I don't think I'll be using that necessarily. So it does have a silencer, so you can silence the Velcro by just capping it like that. Inside I have a chamois for my uh, iPad, my uh, glasses uh, that I wear, and uh, things of that nature. Uh, I do have my uh, Bose headphones in a somewhat s solid case, not extremely solid. Uh, I have a notebook in here. Uh, I have my Bible in here so I can get some reading done while on the plane. And I want to make sure that this bag would have plenty of room for that. Uh, I do have at the bottom a pair of drumsticks. I uh, pretend to be a drummer and I want to make sure it will hold that. I do have an umbrella in here so I can stack an umbrella in case it's raining water bottle in case I want something of that nature and on the inside it has uh, pen holders which it didn't show in a lot of the other video clips but there are pen holders so I have my highlighters and my pens uh, for my Bible uh, my professional pen that I use here it does have a bag in the front which is where I keep my cords uh, so I have uh, an iPad rechargeable cord and I keep three just to be on the safe side I guess uh, for cell phones and my uh, Bose headset to be able to recharge and then I have one of these babies from Anchor which is kind of nice plugs into an outlet gives you two uh, two adapters to be able to plug these in to be able to recharge I do also have a um, I don't think they call them power bricks it's a portable charger it's uh, I ordered it it's on its way so I don't have that in the bag, but this would be a great place, and I'm sure it'll fit in there. It's relatively small, um, so I'll have uh, extra battery uh, charge capabilities while in the airport. 
There is also a zipper bag here, so you can keep something in here. I have nothing in there right now, but um, I'm not sure exactly even what I'll put in there. On the inside also, and inside you have uh, these little pockets. I don't know if you can see them, uh, but you could keep a water bottle or something, I suppose, in there. You have one of the pockets on each side, and then that's it. Oh, I'm sorry, you do have the three pockets in the front. So uh, here I have, uh, they have a key lanyard. I've got my mouse here for the computer. They have a key lanyard so I can keep my keys for when I'm traveling. They need to get back to my home state and uh, find my car in the parking lot. So I keep that, uh, I keep that information there. I have the chamois in here. And then in here, I keep um, uh, just little things, SD cards, mints, uh, and medicine that's on the inside flaps down keeps tipping over because in the back we have a stroller uh, one of those uh, roller bag uh, straps so you can uh, uh, strap to one of those wheel around the airport pretty easily which is nice and then this is just beautiful it opens up and here I have my 15 inch 14 inch Dell, but you can tell that there's extra space, so it might hold a 15 inch in here. I don't know if it'll hold much bigger than that. Over here is where I would normally keep my iPad, and it does fit and it fits beautifully. But um, that, uh, I'm using my iPad right now to record this because I don't have another video recorder, so I don't have it in there right now. But my iPad fits nicely in there. I also have a packet in here for my receipts, which I use for work, and I keep everything organized for um, mileage, parking, meals different types of receipts that I might gain with that fits in there as well I have my battery charger here for the uh, for my laptop and uh, it fits nicely the uh, strap itself I won't go into in too much detail I know that they have other videos that do have that but it fits very comfortably it's well padded very comfortable it is plastic by the way I was wondering about that before I purchased it it is plastic not metal it does have a little metal uh, clip. The little clip here is metal, but the whole hinge part is uh, is plastic. But uh, that doesn't bother me too much. So you know what? I'll tell you what. It fits an awful lot in there. I'll use it for two things. I'll use it for traveling when I need my laptop to be able to pack it in the back. And at times when I don't need the laptop, when I'm just um, heading out to church or doing some other things, uh, I can keep... Um, different file folders and other paperwork and some personal things that I use just for traveling around uh, over in this uh, section on, on this side here so overall I'm very impressed with the bag it seems to, to hold an awful lot of, uh, of stuff so I thought I would do this video hopefully it helps somebody else uh, feel free to uh, post below if you have any questions